please giving us your name and address and we'll send you the relevant forms. The address will be on your screens in a moment at the end of the program. So now all that it remains for me to do is to thank the University of Exeter for their hospitality to us here. Next time we'll be at the Grand Priory Church of the Order of St. John in London. Until then, from Mastermind at the University of Exeter, it's goodbye. That request for applications for Mastermind is, of course, no longer valid since the contest was first shown in 1986. The next round can be seen tomorrow at 9. Later this morning, in the second of our comedy double, George Formby is mistaken for an athlete and is forced to take part in a sports competition which lands him in all sorts of misadventures. Keep Fit is at 10.45. First on BBC Two, it's a case of mistaken identity. Will Hay plays a bungling teacher in the British wartime comedy, The Black Sheep of Whitehall. <laughs> First time my mother saw me, she went into shock. Oh, dear Lord, no. Antonia McGill. We'd known each other since birth. When we were seven, she formed a secret society and, and wouldn't let me join. Needless to say, I worshipped her. My uncle was a fascist. My formative years had been spent in a canoe. I was looking to Antonia McGill to pull me through. Antonia and Jane. Wednesday, 9.25 on 2. The 9 million people who read the Radio Times are now enjoying an even better magazine. For as well as being Britain's most popular programme guide, the Radio Times is now the most colourful. Radio Times, the most colourful way to put yourself in the picture. At five past twelve, storyteller Paddy Tunney returns to the shores of Loch Urn to recall the times when folklore and tradition were an important part of everyday life. The way that I went. First on BBC Two, we go the way of exercise as George Formby plays a barber mistaken for an athlete who's doing his best to keep fit.